The Prime Minister, Dr. Sri Najib Raza, has directed the Transport Minister, Dr. Sri Ong Kikie, to respond to queries involving the audit report on the Port Blank Free Zone. The front page in the headline news. He said Ong would provide the necessary information on the report by Price Waterhouse Coopers to release on Thursday. Adding, and I quote him, I have asked Dr. Ong Kikie to provide answers on every question raised by any party on the audit report. So now it's an open sesame. Uh, everybody can ask anything and he must answer, otherwise he will be he will make the Prime Minister lose face. Speaking to reporters after the AMNO Supreme Council meeting in Kuala Lumpur yesterday, Najib said Ong will provide the explanation to all questions about the PWC report on the PKF set. Acting on Najib's invitation, I'm asking my first three questions about Malaysia's latest scandal of scandals, the 12.5 billion ringgit pot clang free zone rip-off. And of course, I'll be having a series of questions for the next few days. So today we start off with only three questions. Number one, why did Ong break his public pledge made in his first month as Transport Minister on 7th of April 2008 that he would tell all about the PKFZ scandal, as the racket has a right to know the truth by restricting, by restricting the terms of reference of the Price Waterhouse audit inquiry to a position review instead of the wide ranging and an all out investigation into the PKFZ scandal. The Price Waterhouse report had specifically drawn attention to its very narrow and restricted term of reference when it stated. The report is limited in scope. It is restricted to a position review of Port Clank Free Zone and Port Clank Free Zone Syndrome Rahat as set out in our letter of engagement dated 8 of October 2008. We were not asked and we have not advised on any strategy, valuation, legal implication, tax, operational effectiveness, staff competencies or process improvement. No investigation to detect any wrongdoing or audit to form an opinion on any financial information, including any forecasts and projections, has been undertaken. Can Ong explain why he had decided on such a limited and restricted term of reference on the Price Waterhouse Cooper's study, deliberately excluding from inquiry the conduct or misconduct of previous transport ministers, Tun Dr. Ling Yong Sik and Dr. Sri Chan Hong Choi, in the PKFZ scandal, as well as not asking. Price Waterhouse Cooper to detect any wrongdoing or render advice on any strategy, evaluation, legal implications, tax, operational effectiveness, staff competencies, or process improvement. Question number two Does Ong agree that the Price Waterhouse report has exposed the PKFZ scandal as not just a can of worms but a swarm of crocodiles? Snowballing from a 1.8 billion ringgit scandal in 2002 under Ling Yong Sik as Transport Minister. More than doubling to 4.6 billion ringgit under Dato Sri Chang Kung Choi as Transport Minister, and now mushrooming into an astronomical figure of 12.5 billion ringgit scandal under Ong's watch as Transport Minister. When I went through the report and the three and a half inch height, 20 appendices that's at the Blank Port Blank Authority office uh, yesterday and day before, my most vivid image was ripped off. And I felt violated as a Malaysian citizen and parliamentarian. Does Ong have such a feeling? Number three, does Ong agree that the 12.5 million ringgit pop crime free zone ripoff is a heinous crime? And it must not be allowed to be another but bigger version of the 2.5 billion ringgit Boyputra Malaysia finance scandal, which the Prime Minister at the time, Dr. Sri Dr. Mahate, said 25 years ago as a heinous crime without criminals. 2.5 billion ringgit is not chicken feed. It is equivalent to 2.5 billion ringgit then we have scandals. 2.5 billion ringgit can be used to build four Penang bridges, 25 universities at 500 million ringgit each, 125 hospitals at 100 million ringgit each, 1,250 schools at 100, at, at, not 100, at 10 million ringgit each. Please correct that, at 10 million ringgit each. 312,500 low cost houses at 40,000 ringgit each. Declare amnesty from collecting assessment 
for 13 years for Selangor State or 45 years for Penang State. Or give every one of the 27 million Malaysians, regardless of age, a made out of 338 ringgit. In fact, it is like striking a 1 million ringgit price lottery each and every month non-stop for the next 1,041 years. Can you imagine that? <laughs> 1,041 years. Every year, every month you get 1 million ringgit, sell a lottery. What is Ong doing to bring to book all those responsible for the 12.5 billion ringgit Park Krang Free Zone ripoff? Whether polit politicians named like MCA Deputy Finance Minister Cho Chi Hyung, or those unnamed like Leong Sik, Hong Choi, or the BBC Chairman Tiong King Shing, or Simanta, State Assembly Team Person Abdul Rahim Palil, that is named, this chap is named. Huh? Najib has kicked the ball to Ong. I hope Ong will not kick the ball to somebody else and make the Prime Minister look fools, foolish by not answering all queries about the price of the house report on the PKF Z scandal. This is only the first three questions. Many more questions will come in the many days to come. In keeping with Najib's statement that he has directed Ong to answer every question.